The CEO of P&O Ferries defended his sacking of nearly 800 workers in front of a Scottish Parliament committee on Tuesday. Peter Hebblethwaite already admitted that P&O Ferries broke the law by not consulting unions to a Westminster committee last week. Fiona Hislop from the Scottish National Party pushed him further on this issue. Are there any other laws that you would consider breaking if a similar situation arose? And can you understand why passengers would be very worried about travelling with a ferry company happy to break the law? Hebblethwaite said that the sacking was a critical decision that had to be made to avoid worse consequences. Uh, without a material change in the business, I would not be here answering questions about the loss of hundreds of jobs, as difficult as that is. I would be here talking about the loss of thousands of jobs. The pressure on Hebblethwaite continued, led by Scottish Labour MSP Monica Lennon. And it sounds like you have convinced yourself that you are a saviour, that you are saving workers rather than throwing them overboard. The truth is you are a failure of a chief executive and most likely right now in a crowded field the most hated man in Britain. But the CEO maintained that his decisions had been made in the interests of the company as a whole. It was, I, look, it was a very difficult decision. Uh, it was a decision that we implemented uh, as effectively the only option that, in our opinion, we had. Uh, it was a decision that was, as I reiterate, designed to save thousands of jobs. Um, the meeting came after Hebblethwaite's response to a letter from Grant Shapps accusing the CEO of leaving his reputation in tatters and calling for his resignation and the reinstatement of the nearly 800 jobs. Hebblethwaite claimed the Transport Secretary's letter ignores the situation's fundamental and factual realities, as complying with this request would deliberately cause the company's collapse. Employment law expert Amanda Lennon says the severance package that P&O offered already covers compensation for the unfair sacking. A severance package has been offered to each of those workers of at least £15,000, but in any event, it reflects what an employee might receive at tribunal if successful for a claim including unfair dismissal and failure to consult on the redundancies. Two ships belonging to P&O ferries have now been detained by the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency after failing a safety inspection. Eddie Aitken, NTD News.